Wow. Nicely done. On the lunker log. We're fishing the same depth. We moved spots, but. Oh, I just broke off. No. Oh, I just know I lost one. I lost one. Good fish. Good fish. Yep. Good fish. So. Get him. Oh. It's got to be betting fish. It is 100%. So. Woo. It's exciting, y'all. I'm going to let this guy go. There he is. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just got humped. Just got humped. Come on back. There he is. Got him. Got Good one. Welcome back everybody to the Guga Squad channel. We are at the quarantine cabin here at Hell's Gate. This might be the last place we ever go. Last place we ever dangle. We're locked up, we're away from society, and uh, it's nothing but outdoors here, so let's enjoy. We are gassed up and ready to go, John. How do you feel about that? I'm feeling gassed up and ready to go, dude. I know, my God. Oh, are you talking about the boat? Everything. Oh, everything. We're all gassed up. So, we, uh, We've been out at this lake a couple days trying to figure it out. Got on a little something oh, yes. yesterday evening. It was uh, magical. It was it was quite magical. Yeah. Uh, why don't we just go ahead and cut to that? Oh yeah, damn, out of battery. That sucks. Well, might as well just release it. Oh, oh god! Oh. That was insane! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dude, what just happened? Were you recording? No, no. no. I was. I got it. I for sure got it. Coolest bite of the No, that was the fact that you put it back in the water and he ate it. I've never seen it happen like that. Yeah. Where it's out of the water and you just. Fresh and dumb. Wow. <laughs> I mean. That clip is, is awesome. Gonna be so sick. Damn. Dude, this thing is going. Situation right now. Been working a jerk bait here at the end of the day. Been working the scout jerk bait. And uh am I stuck? No, dude, it's just prairie dogging me. Not prairie dogging. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't know. Are Logger heading me. Um, and I've got a I've got a fish that just hit this thing so hard. I thought it was a striper at first, but it's a big bass. It's going up again. Yeah, and I'm just worried that it's gonna break my line. I have 10 pound line here. It looks like it's fucking low. And I'm, I'm trying to just, just get gingerly. over by this net. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get it for you. This thing going down. This is, so, is this bigger than five? I think it's like six. I think it could be, uh, it's a very nice fish. We haven't really gotten a good glimpse of it yet. This might be the PB PK. What wow. was that? Coyotes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good fish, that dude. Dude, that fish worked me. Wow. I would have told you it was bigger. Like, it might not even be fire. That's not downgrade, though. That's the biggest fish of the day, and Absolutely. it's a good one. Oh, this man, he's doing laps on me. How many fish have I caught this afternoon? Oh, zero. Yeah. Look at that one. Oh, my gosh. Boom. <laughs> its belly is big, fat. It looks like it's about to spawn, which is so funny. So I wonder if this fish is on the way back in here, and you just... Like, sitting on the end of a dock. Like, tomorrow, like if you didn't catch that fish, would he have been back there, maybe? Could have been. Fresh one. That's cool. 20 feet of water, but suspended high because the water's, well, 62. But anyway, amazing. So, so. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Look at that. Just girthy one there, man. Just fat. Awesome. That was the hardest fighting five pounder I think I've caught. Back into the deeps. Gotta love it. And anyway, we're gonna go try to slay some fish now. It's like really calm and it should be, the water temperatures are already 62. Well, we might be, get up there in like 70 degrees today. And we're looking for birth. Birth. Oh, big old We birth. caught some twos, we caught some threes, caught like a five. We want a seven, an eight, maybe, about. maybe a 10. There's they're out here. Some One of Rackley's buddies caught a 10 yesterday. So, I mean, they're, they are swimming in the drink and you and I do know a little bit, a little bit about bass fishing. So I think if we fish the right spots, build upon what we figured out yesterday, what we learned yesterday, and throw the right stuff, we have a good shot at some big fish. So Let's how, how about you start that outboard and we go find it? Let's get him. Let's get him. Up 
to this area yesterday. It was like too windy. Like and 10 miles per hour. You caught a good fish and then we broke we broke one off. We think there was some bedding. And now it's calm, so. <laughs> Which means it's about to go down. You better go down. You better go down. <laughs> Let's go get him. Peace. What a beautiful morning it has been. Mm. How much more you can ask for other than like a nine or an eight? Mm. Both are promising. We got hits on the edges, of the I like the broken off. Yeah. There's one. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Knock slack in my line. Yeah, knock slack in my line. <laughs> Get in the boat, good son. Fish, That's dude. what I'm talking about. Let's go. <laughs> we had to figure that one out. I went to go pick up the trench hog. We literally just got to the spot. Rackley set this up perfectly. Yesterday, the zone was too windy. Today, it is flat calm, making it very easy to, to take apart all these little reeds in this brook brush. But that was the first part of the day. I was working the Trenchy, the trench hog, doot, 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 slack line, set the hook. Out came our first fish today, what about a two pounder? Nice Love it. Love it. Thank you. See, if you want to protect yourself from corona, you can get yourself one of these right here. I actually had somebody say that yesterday while we were on the lake. They're like, really taking the corona thing pretty serious on the lake, huh? It's like, yeah, it's, it's for the sun, but these are uncertain times. What is certain though, is there's bass up in these shallows. Well, you've only been fishing for like 30 minutes, but it's it's becoming really obvious what the fish are holding to and what they're doing, even though we can't see them. And they're they're trying to spawn, they're setting up beds. These are probably a lot of male bass that are that are just moving in. And they're getting territorial. So when our baits go in there, uh, there are a lot of times we're just grabbing the ends and they're sitting in between pieces of cover. It's not like a normal flipping bite where you would flip into the piece of cover and get hit immediately. Immediately, You throw like past it uh, in, in between like two pieces, like a goal post and you drag through it and then you're getting your bite when it's in between those two things. Saw that. Yeah. Saw that. I had it for a minute. You think it's good. There's yeah. one. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! <laughs> Got him. Way up. Little male. Okay, that's three fish in like 10 minutes. Good luck, Sniff. Fatty too. Oh, Lord. Fatty, really healthy. Got it. Here we go. Up there, baby. Yeah. Nice. Take it, take it, take it, take it. It's been quiet since we had that flurry. We had a really strong intro and then kind of a slow uh, following few flips. Lost some fish, broke off on a nice one. But this guy came in to wake us up. Just want to sleep there. Nice little bandito bug bass. Little but fat. They're all fat right now. They're all just super healthy. Bye. See you later. I like that fish. Nice fish. That is it, right there. Got him. Good? That's a good one. Decent. There go. Hold it. That is fish number... Oh, four. Five. Four, five. I think, for me. They just keep getting smaller. What in the hell? You're supposed to be <laughs> bigger. What is your problem? Oh well, we'll take it. It's a nice bite. <laughs> Got me thick in the brush. I actually thought it was like a four pounder. I was like, oh my god. And she came loose. See ya. This looks really tasty. I like that rock on the left, that kind of just subtle, Me too. slight rock with the will. I love willow trees too. They always hold bugs and your yeah. stuff. They always hold bugs and stuff. And uh, when, those, when those bugs, they get in the willow leaves, they fall down. The bluegill eat the bugs. And then you know what eats the bluegill? You guessed it. Gar. The gar. And then you know what eats the gar? You also guessed it, the striped bass. But here's the real kicker. When the striped bass are finished eating the gar and they spawn and make their babies under the willow trees, 
the largemouth, there, there it was, the largemouth eat the striped bass babies. And that's exactly why I like fishing, the, what, what was I saying, the willow trees. Yep. Also, fish feeders are good to fish. Circle too. of life. Circle of life, yep. I've also seen them spawn what? on these marina little, little dock things. These before. guys? Yeah. Yeah. Not today. What came first, the June bug or the bass? Uh, it's like definitely what? the June bug, man. It's, a, it's an older I know. situation. Good one. Good one. Good one. <laughs> we were just talking about it. We're like, we're gonna watch it happen. Dang. Wow. Nicely done. On the lunker log. We're fishing the same depth. We moved spots, but. Oh, I just broke off. No, I just know I lost him. I lost him. Good fish. Good fish. Yep. Good fish. Good fish. Very nice fish. So we're fishing the same depth, but just different types of cover. This is a little, uh, little shallow spot off of the. A creek channel bend pretty far back. I would say three quarters of the way back in the creek. And uh, me and John were talking. We were just like, dude, this looks this looks like they have to be here. So little male bass, aggressive. I actually felt that bite a couple of times. And uh, just twitching that lunker log on top. Like you could see the bass come out and bite it. It was so cool. So get him. Oh, it's got to be bedding fish. So, whoo. It's exciting, y'all. I'm gonna let this guy go. There he is. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just got humped. Just got humped. Come on back. Just got humped. Like, big hit and slack line. How do you not have it? There he is. Got him. Got him. Big and nice. Joy. Dude. Joy. Joy. Nice. <laughs> Good fish. Yes, sir. We'll take that. This is like, during the spring season, it's one of those rare times where if you do get a bite and miss the opportunity, generally speaking, you can go back in there and get a second shot, maybe even a third shot if you're dumb lucky. But that's a fish that I missed. Threw back in there. And I got him. I just waited really long. I was like, okay. He's got it, man. Okay, he's got it. But the thing is, he was like hooked on the outside of the mouth. Yeah. And I feel like if they were actually eating it, which they're not, they're just being territorial and trying to move it off the bed, you'd have a fish that gets choked. But that's a nice one. That's a good one. Nice one, dude. Fat belly fish. Thank you so much. Oh. Extra jump. Bonus points. Yeah, bonus points on that one. Nice. You know what? I think we need to go back to, the, to our, our quarantine cabin, settle down a bit, maybe have some elk burgers. Pour a small glass of whiskey and just celebrate the spawn. Celebrate the happening. spawn and then get back out here and wreck them again. We appreciate you guys watching today's video. Hope, most importantly, I hope you learned something today about spring fishing. A lot of you southern guys, this is happening right now, but for you northern dudes, get ready. It's getting there. It's getting there. When it happens, you guys will be fully ready to go yank them. But if you guys want to check out any of the baits that we used in today's video, they'll Especially be down there. That bug. You need some bugs yeah. in your life. Yeah, if you've not fished that bug and you're sleeping on that thing, wake up because they're eating it. So we're peacing out. Sign out. Thank you guys so much for the view. And we'll catch you guys next time on the next episode. Peace and take care.